balance, nigga. Okay, there we go. What's up, guys? My first ever vlog, my first ever story of my prom. Okay, now. What's up, guys? This is my first ever vlog, and I'm gonna be telling you the story of my prom. Before prom, I was like really excited about prom and stuff. You know, like, I need to find a date. It's my last ever. Last ever chance to find a date and you know stuff like that. It was it was very exciting. So before prom, like even like a year before, I was super excited for prom. I was looking for a date and everything and like up till about the last two weeks before prom, I didn't have a date. And then surprisingly, I found a date. Don't need much more detail. So prom was like the typical prom. You get some dinner, well I don't know if it's typical for you to get dinner or prom, but we sure did, and oh yeah, before prom we had like this grand march thing, where you know, you march with your dates all around city park, that was pretty fun, and I had my tux on and all that, and my date had her dress on, yeah, sick stuff. Yeah, we were in the hotel, sitting in our tables, eating dinner, and then, you know, the dance started. And I was one of the first people to go up and dance because, fuck, who gives a shit? It's prom. It's the last opportunity for you to dance your ass off in high school in front of all your buddies. So I did that. And all my, all my friends, like, at my table, they were being pussies and sit, sat, sitting down and stuff so yeah I went up there and danced you know what I failed miserably on is a slow dance dun 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 I failed because I didn't do the slow dance when the slow dance was on uh, I had to attend a phone call to talk about the prom after party yeah so my date was pretty disappointed in me. Yep. So I danced my ass off with all my friends. I didn't dance with my date because I don't know I'm a fucking pussy. outside to talk and stuff and guess what I pussied out of the kiss I know she wanted it I know she wanted me to kiss her but then I don't know I just pussied out and gave her the hug what, what could have I done I, 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 I'm a retard <laughs> I'm a fucking pussy I Actually, I was too tensed about out about the prom after party, like how I'm gonna get a ride and stuff. In the after party, okay, I drove my car to my friend's house. And then he brought a couple of beers, and his parents, his parents, they're so chill, they gave him beer, and took us up to the bush party, and I'm going to be honest, it was my first time getting drunk. So yeah, it's a crazy night, you see like a bunch of people up there, at least like 100, 150-ish. And there's like a campfire going on. 
And it's like, keep in mind, it's like 1 a.m. So hard to walk. It's so fucking hard to walk when you're drunk. Like seriously. Yeah, it's like 1 a.m. You know, you. I have my beer. I have my all those hard liquors. I didn't bring anything though. I just borrowed from all my friends. Like. I saw so many people there with, so many people there offered me drinks and stuff. It was crazy. I was like the happiest dude on earth for about two hours, I would say. I don't even know. Because I was absolutely wasted. I know I hooked up with about 10 women. Um... Hooked up about with with about ten women, you know, like no big deal, just ten beautiful babes. So I'm pissed drunk, like absolutely. And then I had to go pee, and then I went off like over there, over like to the side. There were some rocks there or some, and I was taking a piss, and then this freaking Sean dude. Just comes up from behind and fucking pushes me. So this guy pushes me over onto the rocks and I'm like, you know, piss drunk. And when you're piss drunk, you don't have any control of your body parts. You don't have like balance control and stuff. So I, so I fell over, obviously. And I didn't think it was that severe until the next morning which I will discuss about. Um, and yeah, so I don't even remember the rest of the night. I was just chilling and apparently, according to my friends, I was hilarious. I was the funniest guy ever while drunk. And the next thing I remember is me on the ground puking, surrounded by about a dozen people. And they were all apparently trying to help me because the next day everyone was talking about me I'm not even kidding every single person as I walked through the halls people were like ah you're amazing last night bro look at this drunk guy and stuff like that um and people chicks guys they were all telling me oh, we were helping you bro we were, stuff like that. and people were telling me they helped me and uh, I was like, what? I was that drunk, I didn't even remember shit? But, no, 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 that was the Monday. This was on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next day was horrible though. Party was Saturday, and then Sunday was horrible. Whew. After the party, I slept over at my friend's house. And I remember I was puking all the way to his house in a bag and then I slept and I drove my car, I was still drunk in the morning, drove my car to my place and oh my god, I puked and puked and puked. It was gross. Oh yeah, so I looked at my pants and they were ripped and I was absolutely bleeding on both knees, my elbow and I had lots of scrapes and stuff. It was it was pretty crazy. I even lost my bag which had about 30 bucks in it and like a blanket or two. I totally forgot it there or something. And I had an AP exam on the Monday and I couldn't study for it because I was hungover but luckily I still got a 5 on my bio AP exam and I felt like absolute shit on Sunday and Monday it was crazy but well worth it definitely well worth it
So speaking of parents, uh, I, I have met Jaden's mom, and tonight I met his dad. And I just want them to know that, and I want Jaden to know, that every day that I have spent teaching you has been a day that I have hoped and wished that my own boys will turn out just like you. My 2011 Kajami 11th class, you know who you are. You may have been the pinnacle of perfection.